this is probably not the best idea. It's the only option that we actually have right now. Wish us luck. Breaking and clutch, breaking and clutch, dodging tricycles, taxis, children with balls, grown ups with no balls, <laughs> taxi drivers. As you can see, there was one taxi driver that was trying to get in the way of everyone, every motorcycle. It just, I don't understand why everyone just don't know how to. The get... car won't fit, it doesn't fit. If there's a car in front of you and behind you, it won't fit, understand it. By the minute, Super Typhoon Betty is getting closer to enter the Philippine area of responsibility. And as you can see, most people have prepared and take down the billboards right along Etsa. Not sure if you noticed, as preparation for the, you know, the gust and the wind coming through the country. I was uh, focused on riding the motorcycle through one and a half meter deep waters. So you guys saw how the weather is in BGC, but if you look at the weather here in Robinson's Magnolia, I believe it's still Quezon City, I'm not sure, or Manila or something bordering uh, the city of Manila and Quezon City and I don't know the technicalities, but look at the weather. <laughs> Clear skies. I've experienced things today that no human should experience. <laughs> And mind you, that's just seven kilo we're just seven kilometers away from BBC where you guys saw how the weather was. These these people driving here in Manila are less humane and more brutal than the narcos. <laughs> Jesus. What is going on here? <laughs> yeah, that's how it is. When you thought you've seen it all after living in the Philippines for five years. Oh, how do they say, you ain't seen nothing yet? I was even thinking that because of the heavy rains, there might not be people or... Yeah, it, 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 there might not be a lot of people here in public eatery, but look at it. It's buzzing. It's buzzing. It really is. And rightly so because, I mean, the food here is fantastic. We didn't show the uh, seafood and oyster bar yet, right? Yeah. If I wouldn't be driving, if it would be Dre, Jay driving us today, you can imagine getting some oysters, a little bit of champagne, enjoy it, sit down, have a little get-together. But I have to ride the motorcycle, so no bueno. 
And it, it, it's not even easy sober. How much more? <laughs> minute by minute, the storm is getting closer to enter the Philippine area of responsibility. And it's so terrifying as you guys can see here. So it's set to enter by 8 p.m. tonight. It's already 2.47 now. We're hoping to make it home before 8 p.m. I mean, as you can see, it's 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 five hours away, six uh, hours away, and the weather is already bad. Um, streets were really flooded coming here. I've made it riding the motorcycle very hard. Yeah, and the eye of the typhoon, super typhoon Mawar, is uh, set to enter tomorrow early in the morning. It's as of now, according to Pagasa, it's not. Uh, it's not. They they couldn't identify yet if it's had to make a landfall in the Philippines. But if it does, it's going to be in the nor northernmost part of Luzon, which would be bad for Manila because that means it's going to attract uh, the southwestern monsoon from I sound like a real weather forecaster here <laughs> uh, it's set to weather with gray <laughs> nevertheless it's so terrifying we're hoping that once we leave Robinson's Magnolia we get we get because it, it's not just that it's not just that the weather is gonna be bad it's also that there's gonna be so much traffic it's also that there's gonna be flood on the streets and people also, are going to be distracted by the rain by the and winds. it's also that we're driving with a motorcycle yeah that was a real smart idea <laughs> really smart is this also part of public tree? it is part of public tree. oh uh, yeah because there's a yeah what's the perfect we were you know we we registered robinson's mcdonald and it was quite rainy you know the, the weather is very rainy and we just thought to ourselves what's the best food to eat when it's rainy and cold? And the answer is? Ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> I thought you were going to say the sopas that we're having this evening. Ice cream. Ice cream. Day. It's yeah. sunny. The storm didn't hit or didn't make landfall, at least in Manila. Actually, once we left Robinson's Magnolia, nothing but sunshine, and it is super hot today. Um, not even humid. It's just, it's just actually really nice. Look at this beautiful weather. It's a beautiful weather. I, last night I was thinking maybe this is what they call the calm before the storm because on your way back from Robinson's Magnolia, it was the same. You know, same with as you guys saw in the in the B-rolls. Um, and I was thinking maybe tomorrow it will get worse because that's the time that it enters the par. Um, but still, and I wasn't expecting to water the plants because I was expecting that it's going to be very rainy. And, you know, a lot of thunderstorms and everything. But you can see how so beautiful nice. the weather it, it's is. It's really nice, yeah. Yeah, uh, I mean... It didn't, it didn't harm the being prepared, yeah. you know, we, I mean, but rather safe than sorry, as you said earlier. I'm starting to sound like a broken record here, but the, the, the driving, <laughs> the driving and the traffic in Manila, it is just, I mean, it's, it's, it's so bad. And the taxi drivers are the worst offenders. Like, what is up with the, ta I mean, they will intentionally block you with their car when you're on your motorcycle even though you passing them is not gonna slow them down or cost them any time like they, they they will they, it, the, letting you pass will not inconvenience them in any way yet they prefer to risk your life and your safety just for an attitude <laughs> i think uh i think the whole uh 
taxi licensing thing needs to be re revisited here in the Philippines because I've had a lot of bad experiences with taxis, especially in Manila. Uh, you guys all know the taxi incident that happened a few years ago. And I don't know, it, in my opinion, every, it, like the whole traffic situation, the whole uh, s driving safety situation is just getting worse. I'm somewhat disappointed because the weather is so nice and we could have made some plans. We could have gone somewhere. We could have done something. Instead, we're just staying at home. Guess it's not too bad. We're gonna have a lovely date night today. Yay! We're gonna cook some, some Italian stuff. We're gonna cook some Italian food and enjoy yeah. it. And we've been playing with Peanut. She's been having sure, a blast. Sure, 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 sure. Oh, sure, she's not. Sure. She's not. She might. Well, maybe. She, maybe she'll do it. Okay. Peanut. Yeah. Come on. Go get it. Peanut does this really cute thing where you throw something and she'll bring it back like she's a dog and then you, she wants you to throw it again. So that's that's really cool. Anyway, uh, I hope everybody stayed safe during these times with the storm and everything. I know that um, the weather is bad or it could still be like risky in the northern parts of the Philippines where uh, the storm might make landfall. We're not, we're not over it yet. Um, but yeah, everybody stay safe, stay dry, and we'll see you guys. Stay at home if you can. Yeah, stay at home if you, if you can. If you can. If you can't, stay safe. See you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. It's a good time, I have a good time. Right about now is a goody goody. People wondering how could he, should we? I don't want no regrets, better get back.